What's going on guys? My name is Tefty Teft. Welcome to another episode of Destiny. I'm continuing my Let's Play Crucible series. This is the very first episode since the Taken King has dropped of the Let's Play Crucible series. I'm on my Night Stalker and I've got the Touch of Malice. This is a new exotic that you get from jumping through a bunch of hoops, including the raid. And I am doing a detailed review of it for Planet Destiny. That's going to be out either immediately since this video is posted or will be coming out real soon on the Planet Destiny channel. I'm not quite sure what's going to be first. Uh, I'm going to be doing Snapshot with it and Smooth Ballistics for the range because I'm mostly going to be going with the double damage last bullet. And it's not double damage in the Crucible, it's double damage in PvE. Uh, so, yeah, let's give that a shot. I'm also going to be using my 1,000 yard stare that you get from the Vanguard. And here's my build loadout. I'm doing Envenomed, Quiver, Walnade. <laughs> I'm jumping right in. It uh, looks like we're in the middle of a match already. That okay, guy is. Oh, don't load, don't load. I need to empty this, get my double damage going. Is he coming around the corner? That enhanced tracker is pretty awesome. Oh boy. Yep. Okay, looks like our team picked up one side of heavy, which is good. I need to get my double damage bowl ready. The thing about this weapon, about the double damage, is it doesn't really work in full auto. By the way, if you don't know, this weapon is full auto. Or it has the ability to fire in full auto, even though it's a scout rifle, like the Deadshot Luna. Got him! Uh, so you have to be very careful with your shots. You cannot spam the trigger. You have to control the recoil. Also, the recoil kicks harder when you have the double damage bullet. But it, uh, but it appears to have Rodeo engaged, which is nice. Rodeo makes it so it's up and down. Uh, but it's different from the regular bullets, so you have to watch out about that. There we go. Yeah. So that guy, that might have been a headshot. Yeah, that was a headshot. But because I had already mil um, because I already melted myself with that weapon, he easily could have body shot me. Hardest part of this, I want to unload for the double damage bolt every time I spawn. Wall nade. Thanks for the orb of light, homie. So like I said, I don't have the highest hopes. Uh, maybe I didn't say that. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't have the highest hopes for this weapon. It's a lot of fun. But, oh, almost had a triple, damn. This guy's coming for me. Got you, buddy. Sit down. Sit it on down. Um, you really have to control the recoil. That's the only thing about this. That was a waste. That's okay. As long as you control the recoil, you're going to be good with it. But again, it makes you a glass cannon, which is the interesting part of it. You have to be very precise and play pretty passive. You can't be super aggressive with this. Because, for instance, I almost killed myself. Alright. So as you can see, as long as you take your time... Oh, that enhanced tracker is pretty nice. As long as you take your time, you can do work with it. But going up against a team full of extremely skilled skilled people with their gun skill, it's going to be rough. And the time to kill is super fast. I still need to get my sword kills, so I'm really hoping I can get uh, my sword and do some work. Oh. No! Damn it! <laughs> this uh, uh, thousand yard stare is also really cool. I've been enjoying that weapon a lot. Oh god, I forgot to empty my... Uh... He's not dead? Yeah, okay, I was about to say. If you want your double damage... And the gun to feel the same consistently. You really do have to unload this thing every time. Ooh! Almost. See? No, don't, don't reload. Don't reload. It's a habit. Oh. You can easily kill me. I'm using the gun that kills myself. <laughs> Dude, put the Matador 64 down. Nobody wants that garbage. It's year two, man. No hit? No hit? Oh, shit. I didn't unload my weapon. You have to change your playstyle with this weapon. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... Did not realize he was right there. Payback, buddy, for that Matador garbage. It's a close game right now. Let me have some. Oh, I'm spamming the trigger. See, you can't hold down auto. Full auto does not work. See, just... Oh, that guy's right there. He's gonna kill me. Tapping it? <laughs> Misadventure! Misadventure, because I killed myself with the gun. Uh, tapping the trigger is the way to go with the Touch of Malice. 
Of course, once you get rid of these bolts. These bolts have a different recoil pattern, and it's really weird. We're almost there, guys. Oh my god. Lucky hammer toss. You're welcome for that kill. Gimme. Maybe I can get over here. No. Yes! <laughs> I got one. <laughs> hey, legendary boots. How about that? This guy's down below. He's got a shotgun, I bet. Oh, see, full auto didn't even, didn't even work for me on that. For me, I really don't see a reason to use... Dang. <laughs> I don't see a reason to use the regular bullets. That didn't kill him? <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Holy jeez. I'm dead. I killed myself again. Man, the number of times that you kill yourself with this weapon, when you're going up against people who are landing headshots, it's rough. So I'm on regular control now. Um, gonna be perfectly honest with you, I'm not having a good time using the Touch of Malice. I played a few other games, and if there's any bit of connection issue, and your bullets don't land, it's just worthless. And you might as well use the last word if you're going to utilize the full auto at all. Like, there's really no reason to use this over the last word because you can't fire that fast from a huge distance and expect to get those kills. It just doesn't work. So, that is my synopsis so far. Now you have to be so precise and you get like so close to death with this thing. With the double damage. And the thing is, it's not really worth using the regular bolts because the recoil pattern is different and also the damage requires, I think, uh, it, it requires five headshots in order to land those. So you end up losing quite a bit. See, like that, I mean, if somebody's running you a straight line, no problem, you can kill them really quick. No problemo. Got him! Even that took two shots. <laughs> two shots. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You can't spam the. You can't hold down the trigger. It's just like it does not uh, respond correctly for it. Give me the double damage. I'm over here, bud. I know you got a shotgun. See that distance. It works most of the time, unless you have some sort of lag situation going on. Now I'm close to dead, and I'm dead. If I had fired one more bullet, that would have been the end of me. <laughs> Snipe it, <ease. laughs> I can't believe I got that kill. Got him! <laughs> I've been lagging the void bow so far. It's been pretty cool. Man, I still gotta get these, uh... Spamming it, spamming it. No! Kill him, please. Nice. Honestly, guys. Like, Touch of Malice, not the go-to crucible weapon. Just isn't. Yep. Did I get him on that? Yeah, with the grenade. Love it. Yep, you can hit me with a fusion rifle. Nice. Whatevs! <laughs> oh my god. I'm, um... I'm gonna say that I do not recommend Touch Malice for PvP. 100% do not recommend it. Uh, maybe I'm just having a bad day. That's completely possible. But... I would much rather use Messenger. I'd much rather use the Hawkman. I'd much rather use uh, a Vision of Confluence style of Scout Rifle. This would, The trade-off for the damage boost is just not there, guys. Yeah, not there. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. It's a little salty for me because uh, the Touch of Malice is just not my type of Crucible weapon. It might be your type of Crucible weapon, but then again, you're going to wreck with a uh, regular Scout Rifle in general if you're good with the Touch of Malice. So, thanks again for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Slap the like button if you dug it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.